beautiful people. Welcome to Classic Confections. I'm your host, Kendra, and today we are talking about coats. Yes, your girl is born and raised in Michigan, and with that being said, gotta have a good coat. Gotta have a good coat to keep you through the winter. In my case, you have to have a cute collection of coats. Um, I did a video last year kind of showing my favorite coats. Um, so this year, I'm gonna do that again. I told myself this year, I was like, you know, Kendra, I only get like one or two coats. Um, I'm up to five now. <laughs> what can I say? It's just the Michigander in me. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into the outerwear. That's it back there. <laughs> So I thought I would break this video up by genre and we're starting off with shackets. You guys know that I have just been enamored with shackets this season. So this is one I bought earlier in the fall and it is this wool blend number from H&M. It's a very oversized. I think this is the extra large. I easily could have sized down to the large and maybe even a medium in this one, but I like it. You can layer so much underneath it. It has these huge, generous pockets. You can put your snacks down there. <laughs> Just kidding, don't put snacks in there. Um, but yeah, I love this so much. It has these little slits on the side. So even though it's long, it's easy to walk in. And I love the cozy, just casual oversizedness of it all. Um, I wore this one uh, to take Christian to the zoo recently and got a lot of compliments on Instagram about it and then also too I bought those elbow length gloves to go with it if I want to like pull the sleeves up but yeah <sighs> this one is a beauty all right peeps so next up is another coat from H&M and this one combines two of my favorite jacket styles so it's a jacket but it's also a teddy coat it's a teddy jacket <laughs> This one is the exact same um, style and like cut as the original one. Oh, not the original one, but the other one I showed you previously. Um, it has a little slit on the side, make it comfortable for walking, but it's made out of this substantial fleece material. So you can see on the inside, it's like faux shirling. And this one is so warm and cozy. Oh my goodness. So what I think I want to do, what I know I want to do is get like a cream turtleneck or like a cream cashmere sweater, some like cream um, jeans or pants and just make it like a monochromatic look. I think that would be so chic. But yeah, this one is thick. It is warm. It is heavy. It is substantial. It was $60 or maybe 70 I don't know. <laughs> but I will link everything down below. But yeah, I would highly recommend this one. It also comes in a gray and I think like a camel color, but it's the cream for me. It's the cream. <laughs> Here's another teddy coat and I bought this one last year from H&M. It's probably like my favorite coat. I love this thing so much. It reminds me of the Max Mara teddy coat and I just found my glove that I've been looking for. So I'm happy about that. Um, <laughs> any case i love this coat again it's super oversized but i love that because i can layer so much underneath i can wear this in like pretty much all temps like even like down to zero i can wear this because you can just layer so much underneath so i bought this one last year but h&m does bring this back i think they have similar versions i saw some other ones online so i will link what i can find down below but yeah, this coat, like, I don't even want to take it off right now. Like, I could just lay on the couch and, like, take a nap <laughs> in this coat right now, right the second. I think I will have this piece forever. As long as I treat her good and she treats me well, we can hang. <laughs> Okay, peeps, so next up, I wanna talk about patent leather coats. So patent trenches specifically are very, very in right now. I've seen a few online that I've had my eye on, um, but this one, if you watch my recent video about um, stuff I bought, <laughs> um, you would have seen this one. So this one I got from a brand called Stand, and they have fabulous coats they're a bit pricey they're an investment piece but you can catch them on sale so i will link some versions down below 
but oh, I love this coat so much. It makes such a statement. It feels so luxe and it's heavy. It's substantial. Like I thought this would be kind of like a lightweight patent trench. Um, I had one from Michael Kors a few years back and it snagged on me and like ripped. But no, this is like a coat coat. <laughs> It has like this faux shirling trim. Um, it's lined with faux shirling on the inside, like all through the sleeves and through the body. So it's super cozy and warm. It makes a lot of noise when you walk, so that's a bonus. <laughs> Not really. Um, <laughs> but no, I love it. Oh, I just cannot wait to strut down Madison Avenue in this. So next, I want to talk about puffer jackets. So we recently got hit with 8 to 10 inches of snow in New York City. So yeah, it's been time to break out the big guns. <laughs> so every fashionista needs a good puffer jacket, but not just any puffer jacket. I like to have fun with my puffy coats. <laughs> so this one I got last year it's from uniglow and the mary mecco collection and i just love this fun print I, I could not resist this when i saw it so highly highly recommend checking out uniglow they have um it's called ultra lightweight down they have tons of different down jackets and different lengths different silhouettes um and i like them because they're like they say, they're ultra lightweight. <laughs> so they're very light and they're very packable. So if you are traveling, um, you know, when the world opens back up, <laughs> these are great pieces. I have a couple of their like uh, down vest that I like to wear and like layer underneath. Like even if you layer it underneath a wool coat, it can keep you nice and toasty. But yeah, I like this one so much. I think the color is so fun. Like this just bold like in your face print and it's just a nice way to jazz up what could otherwise just be kind of like an ugly puffy jacket all right peeps so i have a lot of puffy jackets to show you guys including this bright sunny yellow one that i got from anthropology last year i love it it's from a brand called avec les filles and uh, it's just so cute i love this little tie so like a tip when you get puffy jackets if you don't want them to look like too i don't know bulky and like ugly <laughs> look for ones that kind of tie and like taper at the waist um the other one i showed you was like slightly a line so it makes you, you know it gives you some shape while keeping you toasty so this one i love it's sort of like asymmetrical it has this tie right here and then it has this huge collar which you can like if you just want to be dramatic <laughs> kind of push up around your ears which i do like to do and then it comes loose like this so you can just kind of wear it like that and i love it this color is amazing and yeah i really like this brand this one is like super warm and cozy uh yeah this is another one i could just like curl up in the bed and just like <laughs> have a good book and some hot chocolate and be so cozy in this all right guys so this one i picked up at target last year i think it's by the collection of wild fable and i love it i think i paid like 20 bucks or something ridiculous for it but it is so cute i love how long it is and of course i love this pink this hot pink color like it just makes me so happy every time i wear this coat out in public i get so many questions about it uh yeah i think they do have a hot pink puffer jacket this season i don't think it's as long as this one though but i will link it down below of course you know i'll hook you guys up um but yeah it gives me like total 80s vibes the sleeves are a little bit short um I don't mind it so much because like I do have like gloves that come up like past my wrist so when I wear it with the gloves and whatnot it's not bad but I feel like that just kind of adds to like the 80s feel of it but yeah super cute and also too I'm wondering because I have this like huge belt on I wonder how it would look belted let me try that all right me and my bright ideas I think I like it even more with the belt I don't know about this particular one because it's gold but yeah I might have to get like a different color hardware belt and you know I think I just made a look here <laughs> all right on to the next. 
Alrighty peeps, so another puffer that we have from Uniglow. And this one, I love how it looks like a tailored coat, but it's in like this puffer jacket material. So again, this is one that's also very lightweight, but I got it oversized so I can layer underneath. And yeah, I think this is a great option if you wanna be warm and like wear like a puffer coat. But, you know, you want to look a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more polished. I think this is a fabulous option. I wish the belt were more substantial. Like, I feel like this is like a, you know, it's like a hefty coat. Um, this belt is kind of like ho-hum flimsy. <laughs> but it works. And yeah, I love, it's almost like a trench coat. But it's a puffy coat. It's a trenchy. Or a truffy. Or a pinchy. I don't know. <laughs> All right, peeps, so next up we have the classic wool coat. I think that everyone should have one of these, at least one in their wardrobe. I mean, you just can't go wrong. So I like to have fun and like, you know, get a little adventures with my outerwear. But you know, sometimes a look just calls for something simple, chic, and classic. So this one I got from H&M. I think I got it off season on the clearance rack for like 30 bucks, maybe even 20, something ridiculous. So I am looking to actually invest and get like a nicer quality one. There's a few at Ralph Lauren that I'm eyeing. I will link those options down below because I don't think you're going to find a deal like this one. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. Just a classic khaki or camel colored coat and wool. I love the wrap style. Just pop your collar, throw on some like simple jewelry, slick your hair back and you look like a million bucks. So yes. By the way um, guys, as I'm trying on these coats, like some of them I have not worn since last year, I'm finding like all kinds of stuff in my pockets. Like every coat has like so many cough drops. <laughs> I'm finding loose change. I found my glove I've been looking for. So <laughs> I need to do better next year. <laughs> Next up, we have another classic wool coat. This one is also from Uniglow. And this one is in a beautiful, like, berry or, like, dark burgundy or wine color. I love this coat so much. It's tailored, but it's still roomy. This is called their Cocoon Coat. Um, so I only wear this one when it's, like, 40 degrees and, like, above freezing. So, like, maybe, like, high 30s I could get away with this one. But uh, I love this one so much. And this one, I like to dress it up with like um, contrasting accessories just to kind of bring out the color and make it pop a bit more. It looks fabulous with yellow. I know. Yellow and purple are like a good combo, good color combo. But yeah, I love it. This coat is just cozy. It's chic. This color is beautiful, especially when I wear like a dark lipstick with it. And yeah, there you have it. So I'm always up for a good preppy look and I love this jacket and matching scarf. I just got this like a week ago and I haven't worn it out yet, but I love it. And can you believe this is from Old Navy? Old Navy, I couldn't believe it. But yes, I just, when I saw the matching scarf on the model, I was like, I gotta have both of those, but yes. I love it so much. Now this is called their oversized coat. And I don't actually think it's that oversized. It's actually true to size, I would say. <laughs> so I'm wearing the extra large. I mean, the sleeves do kind of drop, so it's, it is roomy. But the oversized kind of threw me off. So I bought two of these, one in the large and then one in this size. So I would say just get your regular size in this. Um, and if not, even maybe size up in this one. Don't let the, the title fool you. But yeah, I love it. So it's like this brushed wool blend. So it's very like cozy and it's very soft. It just feels like good material, it feels good on your skin and it's fully lined on the inside. And then the matching scarf is also very soft and cozy. It's not itchy or scratchy at all. And I just love being bundled up in this. I don't think it's gonna be the warmest coat. I could definitely wear this in the 30s and like if it's layered with a, uh, a nice chunky sweater underneath, maybe into like the 20s, but I don't think I would dip below that in something like that. I would reach for like my teddy coat or one of the puffer jacket options, but uh, this is so chic and it was such a steal. I think I got it for like an additional 50% off at Old Navy. 
But yeah, I love you. So I had to finish out this video with my favorite type of coat, fur. So I mentioned that I'm from Michigan and everyone knows that Detroit girls, we love our fur. Oh, Detroit furs by the Detroit family. <laughs> we do, we love it. So over the years, I used to wear real fur. Um, and I don't know, I've had a change of heart. So they've got some great faux fur options now. So I try to stick to either faux fur for the most part and vintage fur. So I will, I do have a few like real vintage pieces and I feel like that's the way to go. Like I, you know, I watched the PETA videos and I had a change of heart. So, you know, growing, changing. <laughs> In any case, I got this faux fur coat H&M last year and I love it. This coat is so warm and fuzzy. I know I mentioned that that H&M teddy coat was my favorite. This is a close runner up. Oh, I love everything about this coat and also too mm, I think the last time I wore this I must have gone out on a date or something with um, Eric because it smells amazing. Mm. <laughs> I can't remember what perfume this is, but yeah, I love it. Um, but yes, I love this coat so much. I like how it's styled like a trench, which is like my favorite like style of coat or jacket. Um, but it's fur, so it's cozy and toasty. You can dress it up or down, even if you're just wearing like jeans and like a turtleneck, like this coat just makes you look like a million bucks. So yes, I will definitely link some similar options down below. Okay, next up in the faux fur category is probably my most worn jacket last year and the year before um, is this gorgeous coat that I got from Amazon. It was so affordable, super cute. I just love it. It looks like a dress. It's kind of like princess cut. It's like very swingy. I bought it like a size or two up just so it could like really fall and be weighty and like look great and drape nicely. So yes, I love this coat so much. It's very thin. So even though it looks like a heavy, like thick fur coat, um, it's actually pretty lightweight. So you can layer so much under here because like the coat is very roomy, <laughs> but oh, I love this. I feel like such a snow princess when I have this coat on. So when you're going with inexpensive faux fur, I find that black is usually the best way to go. It's like more forgiving, but this feels super luxe despite it being like, I think I paid $60 for this when I bought it. But yeah, I love it. And then I even thought about dressing it up in um, its snap buttons, but I thought about maybe just getting some like um, vintage like rhinestone, um, brooches or something like that and kind of putting it over the buttons just to give it like a little bit more bling especially for a night out but yeah this coat is stunning highly highly recommend i might try another color because it does come like a brown like minky sort of color so i'm gonna try that and see um how it looks but the black is perfection all right, gang, so I wanted to end on a high note with one of my favorite jackets. It is this beautiful vintage boiled wool coat, and it has a mink collar, and I feel so fabulous whenever I wear this jacket. I think it's from the 1950s, so it has gone through its paces, but it's an impeccable quality. It's lined in this nice thick satin, and I actually bought this as my maternity coat, so it's a uh, it's called like a swing jacket it's a swing style um so i think i was like around six seven months pregnant during the fall winter last um not last year two and a half years ago <laughs> and i didn't want to buy like an actual maternity coat so this is what i got instead and i still wear her proudly today <laughs> But yes, I love this coat. So if you are going the vintage route, I would say Etsy and eBay have some great options. I will link some down below. This style in particular, like you can't go wrong with. And they even have some that have like the fur around the cuff. And I think this is a great way um, to kind of dip your toe into the vintage fur realm. So yes, I love this coat. I think it was an absolute steal. I picked it up at an antique shop and I will have this in my wardrobe forever. It's such a classic piece. 
All right, guys, that is a wrap. Thank you so much as always for watching. I will link down in the description box all of my favorite codes and things that I recommend. I actually think I'm gonna do a companion blog post as well and just show you all the different codes that I have my eye on still. <laughs> Your girl's addicted to codes. Um, but yes, I will link that down in the description box as well. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in, listening to me talk about clothes. I appreciate you guys so much and I love making these videos for you if you have any requests let me know down in the comments and if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know down in the comments your favorite coat that I tried on and if you haven't already don't know what you're waiting for make sure you subscribe hit the bell for notifications I put out videos like this weekly sometimes twice and as always until next time stay classy and stay fabulous <laughs> Dependability